Okay, so I'm outside of my house right now and I'm just recording my uh, cell phone screen to show you this app. It's called Google Lens. You can download it for Android or iOS, I believe. And what it does is it's really helpful if you're just sort of walking around and you come across a plant that you really like and you don't know what it's called you see these circles that are s sort of popping up on the screen when a circle appears that means that it's identified that object and you could do this for animals and stuff too which is really fun but here we have uh, a circle so if you click on it it's going to search it in google for you it's saying it's a perennial plant which really isn't helpful at all okay let's try a different one here Let's see what it does for this. So it's showing arborvitae, which is what this is. So very good. Um, let me see here if it can come up with anything. Blackberry lily, that's exactly what this, this is. So that worked pretty well. And I don't know if it'll do, I wonder if it'll do this one here. It's like, it'll find like a fence or an animal too. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, long yellow daylily, very good. And I wonder if I can do this one here. There you go, see? So it doesn't work 100% of the time, but I find that it's really useful. It's really accurate for the most part in determining what these types of things are. I just wanna try this guy again because I feel like Kind of got a bad rap here. Is it going to just show me? Yeah, uh, blue hibiscus. That's exactly what this is. It's a hibiscus rose of Sharon. Um, blue chiffon, actually, it's called. But yeah, so here, and then if you clicked on that, it's going to give you more information about that particular plant, and you can read about it. So it's just a great little handy tool to keep in your pocket, which your phone is always in your pocket anyway, so why not, right? This is another really cool app that you can use. It's called Right Plants, R-I-G-H-T-P-L-A-N-T-S, Right Plants. And um, back in the day, I've had this for a long time, and back in the day it actually had more features that now you have to pay for. But even with the unpaid version, it's still pretty cool. So here's Home, and they're just sort of featuring a couple different plants for you. Um, you can also go to the Browse section and actually just kind of find some stuff that other people are posting, which is really cool. Like, look how beautiful these photos are. This is amazing. Click here, and it get, it'll give you all of the information about this particular plant, including how to care for it, um, different attributes, and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, you can kind of go into different categories if you want to find something a little more specific. Um, you can also search with the search tab and search the common name, botanical name. So if we just searched like um, coneflower, I'm typing in. Oh, there it is there. So you can find your plant and then it'll give you all of the information. So really handy if you're at the um, garden center and you just want to look something up really quick. Um, it's really great for that. Um, the other feature that used to be free that I've used before. It's called this My Garden. Um, now it's saying I have to do a trial or upgrade or whatever. But what this does is really cool. You can actually snap photos of the plants in your own garden and kind of save them in here as a database and it'll identify them for you as best as it can. If it can't identify them for you, it'll um, ask you what the name is. If you know it, you can type it in and then they'll add that to their database as well for other people. So it's a pretty cool app. I mean, even without the upgraded feature, I still tend to use it just to look something up really quick. Okay, so here are some online resources that you can use to find the right plants for you. Um, the first one is <clears throat> rightplantsforme.co.uk, and I'll have all of these links for you. Um, this is actually um, not a United States site, so um, the, the downfall to this awesome database is just the fact that um, there's not going to be any zones because USDA zones are obviously US and um, the measurements of the plants are in um, 
you know, centimeters instead of inches. Um, regardless of that, I still think this is like an awesome, awesome database. So what I love about it is if you scroll down from the top, you can search a plant at the top, but usually in this situation, you're not going to know what plant uh, to choose. So what's great is that you can um, filter your results. So say you wanted like a purple or like a bluish. Um, you can do the flower color or the leaf color if you wanted something with a blue leaf. And then they have this option for period of interest. Now, if you narrow this down too much, you're going to get like not a lot of options. So I recommend, um, you know, okay, summer. So we'll do June, June, July and August. And I'll leave the, the height alone. I'll do sun or part sun. And then, uh, you know, there's all different features, flowers for cutting, like whatever you want here. You can get as specific as you want or as wide as you want, as broad as you want. The only thing you have to do is make sure after you click on the plant and find what you're looking for, just make sure that it's something that will grow in your zone. So here you have, um, you know, quite a few options. There's actually a load more button. So I don't even think I narrowed it enough at this point. Um, we can do, how about something that attracts butterflies? So maybe that'll give us less options here. Okay, so here's some purple to blue plants that bloom in the summer that um, work in part sun or part, part or full sun or partial shade and partial sun, remember, are the same thing. Um, they're perennial, so they come back every year and attract butterflies. So you have a couple options here, which is kind of great. So this is a great option to uh, find what you're looking for or just get some ideas, you know. Um, so that's the first one. The second option is the Missouri Botanical Gardens website has a plant finder here. And this one's pretty cool too. Um, it's not as visual, obviously, with the sorting features. That's why I kind of like write plants a little bit more. But you can also, um, you know, here you can you can put your zone in. So maybe I do the zone, and then I'm gonna do the color purple, and the bloom time. We'll just say July, and we'll do a search. You hit the search down here. And this is gonna pop up 380 for me. So, you know, in that event that you have too many. You can always go back to the previous page and just sort of narrow it down from here. Um, maybe we want, we definitely want something that's going to come back every year. So let's see here. Uh, flowering tree, we can, we're okay with that. Not annual, so let's just kind of select uh not vegetable or herb we'll do the butterflies again here and see what comes up oh we did a little too much here yeah i don't think that these are that great to use i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend those but here we are here we still have 179 to choose from so um, these are great because this is um pretty much all all kind of like natural uh, native plants to the United States is what they're known for. So lots of options here. Like I said, not as pretty to look at, but will definitely get you where you need to be. Um, the third one is garden.org, which has a plant database as well that you can search. So this is another one. Let's say we're looking for mm, a shrub. And we want full sun, the part shade, or full sun. And I wouldn't mess with the pH too much. We'll say zone. I'm 6B, so I'm going to put that in. And then maybe something with good fall color. Let's see what we come up with here. There's lots and lots of options on this one as well. But if you take any advice from me, it would just be to not narrow yourself down too quickly 
you you're gonna get frustrated that you're not having a lot of luck with your results so yeah see even here it's too specific so let me just take shrub off and and see what happens here you gotta kind of pull the thing back up again huh oh there it goes so here we have a bunch of options that come up as well so this is another one i mean it's all just what you like I tend to go to the, this right plants one just because it's so visual and colorful, but whatever one works for you. I'm going to use the Google Lens app to see if it could tell me what kind of dog I have. <laughs> Hi, Sally. Sally. Look at me, baby. Jack Russell, English Springer, Hound, Danish, Swedish. What is this one? Farm dog. Okay, a beagle, a Brazilian terrier. Let's try again and see. Oop, here it got you again. Sally. She's eating grass. Jack Russell, beagle. Brittany Feast Pointer, uh, Pointer, St. Germain, <laughs> American Bulldog, pretty cool. Now we know what Sally is.